What is going on everybody? Vitaly Dubin is here, founder of Bitcoin's Wall Club and welcome to another episode of Today in Crypto Show where I'm discussing what is happening right now in the crypto markets and we are continuing with our bull market. The whales are accumulated. I'm going to show you a lot of evidence why I believe we are about to see a big leg up for the Bitcoin price and possibly reach $100,000 or more this year of 2021. And uh, of course, we're going to do our Bitcoin technical analysis. So let's get started. The market is up today in the green 6.1%. Amazing to see Bitcoin is up 5% today. Ethereum up 5% today as well. And uh, overall, the market is in the green. We see some tokens over double digit gains in the top 100, which is always great to see. Looking at Bitcoin tech technical analysis we can see that even though yesterday we tried to drop we you were heavily heavily bought up by the whales right they were just aggressively accumulating and buying that dip and today we are seeing you know bitcoin is up seven percent from its lowest point in uh, yesterday right and we are printing our green very green very awesome bullish engulfing candle right this moment for the bitcoin price which is amazing to see and uh, we are right now above the 200 day moving average above 50 day moving average and we are about to get this golden cross happen which is bullish which is very bullish and signifying signifying the next phase of our bull run and why do i say it is still a bull run think about it. if the bit if this the bitcoin bull run market is over then this will be the shortest bitcoin bull market in history and doesn't seem likely with the explosion of building education awareness the crypto industry has seen so it is not likely that we are in the end of bull market we're still a long uh, time to go here. Bitcoin price to hit 100k in 2021. That's what the standard chartered is saying. They're like, okay, it was a little dip, uh, but um, actually, Bitcoin is predicted to hit $100,000 in late 2021 or early 2022 with a huge Ether price spike. And ultimately, they're saying Ethereum will structurally value at $26,000 to $35,000. 10 times its current price so still 10x <laughs> from where it is and uh arc invest ceo katie wood predicts five hundred thousand dollar bitcoin price by 2026 citing that uh, if we are right and companies continue to diversify their cash into something like bitcoin and institutional investors start allocating five percent of their funds in bitcoin we believe the price will be tenfold what it is today instead of 45k over five hundred thousand dollars so ethereum 10x bitcoin 10x <laughs> we are uh we are about to see some incredible next five years amazing and uh we're still in 2021 <laughs> uh very exciting time so uh are strong technical enough to bring bitcoin price to a hundred thousand in 2021 well we're going to discuss that a lot of people agree with that i do expect a hundred thousand dollars is still in play for bitcoin this year if anything 100k will be underwhelming in fact if you follow plan b stock to flow we are still moving in the lower band and this is the the, the stock to flow right here the stock to flow model right uh willy Wu says let's keep september and, and go straight to october i mean plan b <laughs> uh this is where we should be around a hundred thousand dollars according to uh this uh, model right so a lot of a lot of traders a lot of uh, people in the industry uh, agree that 100k seems very very likely uh, this year the bears are exhausted they sell the loss when you are looking at some on-chain data uh this is bullish particularly after the aggressive summer sell-offs bears are getting exhausted time for the bitcoin bulls to take over very very soon and micro strategy you know micro strategy um some people speculate 
and CEOs like uh, MicroStrategy might be holding Bitcoin on behalf of other companies. So instead of these other companies buying Bitcoin and storing Bitcoin directly, they're buying a convertible debt instrument from MicroStrategy to gain Bitcoin exposure. And that's why MicroStrategy is buying so much Bitcoin. In fact, from July to September, they added 8,957 bitcoin to its holding and now they hold 5.1 billion dollars absolutely incredible considering the fact that just 400 days ago microstrategy owned zero bitcoin that's right <laughs> they, they didn't own any bitcoin at all absolutely epic absolutely epic it was a little bit a little over a year ago and they have been buying and accumulating like crazy so now we need to overcome the forty-seven thousand dollars on our way to fifty thousand dollars and from there from there uh we are going to see a continuation or bull market and looking at the weekly chart we see that we are supported by the 21 day moving average which is very uh, awesome to see in our bull market we do want to see uh, candles weekly candles above the 21 weekly moving average like just like we have seen all over this time since uh, may april 2020 right about the halving right here this is where you should be buying a lot of bitcoin <laughs> do not miss the next halving event do not miss it it's once every four years and the next one will be in 2024 three years from now so do not miss the next one you see what happening after the halving event bitcoin goes crazy <laughs> week after week gaining and gaining and gaining some more okay so now we are above 21 week moving average it's very very good to see uh next on the news we are seeing a new Bitcoin core release, adding a support for Taproot. And essentially, it's a new version of Bitcoin Core 22, okay, 22nd version. And uh, it will allow Bitcoin to be more efficient, to uh, undeclutter the network and uh, speed everything up. And we're seeing a lot of signs, a lot of signs uh, of essentially bitcoin scaling solution like lightning network now has 2488 bitcoin and over 73,000 channels so bitcoin is scaling right now it's always good and uh according to this crowd sentiment has fallen to historically low levels with deep fear combined with altcoin hype you can see this level is very very low okay and what it means is usually when we see such low levels it is right before Bitcoin is going so much higher. <laughs> so, um, yeah, get excited. Get excited, guys. We just hit a new all time high for young Bitcoin under three months hodl wave. And you can see right here those blue areas 2018 late bear market, 2015 end bear market march to november 2020 we've seen those kind of levels and now and now we are again again at this level for bitcoin huddle waves so are we about to see bitcoin for a hundred thousand dollars very very likely uh long-term holders are still buying here at those levels and uh, let's look at some other fundamentals we're seeing so Bitcoin continues to distribute coins evenly and um, you can see right here that uh, uh, the whales that hold over a thousand Bitcoins, they're gradually getting less and less and less of these accounts and uh, accounts that hold less than 10 Bitcoins are going more and more and more and also publicly held Bitcoin is getting more. So you can see the distribution of the Bitcoin supply. Okay retail drives micro cycles when retail stack their satoshis and buy bitcoin increase rate like they're doing right now you can see that this is very similar to the situation that we had in mid 2017 right before we had an explosive three months for bitcoin so believe it or not okay we might be at a very similar fractal right now 
and we are about to have some explosive moves in the Bitcoin price coming in soon. So get excited, get excited about that. Um, whales think coins are cheap right now. Whales are opportunists. They're in a decade long diversification plan selling to every bull market having made their money. But they do take the opportunity to, to buy when they see a strong rally ahead like right now. They're buying, they're buying, they're community. They're, they're thinking it's cheap right now. So, and you can see the exchanges, the exchanges are getting lower and lower on Bitcoin. There is a liquidity crisis, in fact. You can see the amount of uh, liquid Bitcoin on chain has been a structural decline since the March of 2020. That's a big shift from going and uh, there's more supply, steadily more supply. It goes through a shift into uh, 2018, 2020, and then now we're in decline after March 2020 reduction in the liquid supply. There's just not much Bitcoin going around. <laughs> so that's a very, very excited. And uh, finally, I want to share with you about E Gold, right? Uh, Elrond News, EGLD, KuCoin is one of the big exchanges, list E Gold, EGLD rolled, and announced strategic integration enable listing of Elrond ESCD token. So that's very bullish for Elrond. We're excited to announce the leading exchange platform KuCoin has listed eGold and also complete the full integration of its system with the Elrond network. KuCoin is thus technically prepared for listing ESDT tokens, which means projects building on Elrond have the opportunity to access the broad community of more than 8 million people and the deep liquidity of the prominent exchange platform. Very bullish and very exciting news. And if you want to learn how you can receive daily rewards every single day, get paid daily, partnering with the world's strongest blockchain alliance membership and triple your money passively, then head over CryptoRewardsDaily.com to learn how you can do that. It's a very exciting project uh, indeed to be uh, engage with so with that being said hope you have a fantastic day and i will see you in the next episode of today in crypto show